In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add buttons to your Tkinter GUIs and trigger events when you click them. Hello humans, I'm Kyle and welcome to Code for Humans, the channel dedicated to leveling up your coding skills. So to start off today, uh, let me explain what's on your screen. So this is a simplified version of the code I showed you in the last tutorial. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with Tkinter, uh, you should go back and check that out. But this is going to be the foundation for pretty much every video for the next few videos. So to start, let's just make a button and then we'll worry about making it do something later. So again, like I told you, I like to use these little naming conventions when creating my variable names. And I'll say btn uh, greeting. So this button is going to give you a greeting whenever you click on it. So the way we create a tkinter button is by saying tkinter.button. Now again, we need to give it a couple of things. The first is what GUI is this going to be on? And that's our root GUI because it's the only one we have. Then I'll say text is equal to, I'll say click me, something simple. Again, just like with labels, we have to place it before it actually shows up on our screen. So I'll say btn greeting dot pack. And if I run this, then we can see that I have a button on my screen that says click me. And when I click it, you can see that animation, but it doesn't actually do anything. And that's because we haven't given it an event. We haven't given it a function to run whenever we click it. So let's do that now. So the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna come up here and define the function that's gonna run whenever we click that button. And I'll say that I'm going to define uh, greet user. And all this is gonna do is print out hello. We're gonna keep it simple. So to actually tell our button to run this function whenever it's clicked, I'll make a new line here since we're towards the end, but I'll say command is equal to the name of my function. So greet user, and you do need a comma right here. So we say command is equal to whatever function we want to run, but notice I didn't put parentheses after the name of my function, and that's intentional. But first let's run this and I'll explain that in just a minute. Now you can see whenever I hit click me, the word hello pops up and I can do that over and over again as many times as I want. But what happens if I want to greet a specific person? Let's say I have something like, something like name is equal to Kyle. And now I want my button to say, hello Kyle, whenever I click it. But I can't pass parameters here. There's no parentheses. And that's because when you do have parentheses, when you want to pass some data to your function, you have to use a Lambda command. So let me show you what I mean. So I'll make another button and I'll say uh, greeting one and that's equal to tkinter.button. Uh, again, going on the root GUI, my text is Kyle click me. I'll say something more specific. Again, I'll make a new line. So this is gonna be a little weird, but just stick with me. I'm gonna say command and we're gonna need some more space. So I'll go ahead and I'll drag this over a little bit. So command is equal to a Lambda function. So I'll make a video on lambdas if you're unfamiliar with them at some point, but basically you can just type exactly what I have here and it'll work for you. So you can worry about learning lambdas later. Personally, I was using GUIs for a long time before I figured out what they were, but moving on, let's make the function that our lambda is going to call. So I'll say define specific greeting, and this is going to take one parameter and that is the name. And then we're going to say print hello plus the person's name. So pretty simple. Uh, but now down in our Lambda call, I'm going to say specific greeting. So that function we just made. And now I'm going to give it the argument. So the name I want to greet is in the variable name. So that will be the argument I pass to this function. So now let's pack this new button and run our code and see what happens. So now we can see that we have two buttons and when I hit Kyle click me, it says, hello Kyle. It prints out whatever name is in the name variable. So why did I have to do all this extra work? Why did I have to say Lambda? Why couldn't I just put parentheses and then pass in my argument like normal? And that's because Tkinter just doesn't let you. Uh, because of the kind of background workings of Tkinter, uh, we have to do some weird things to get it to work because your GUIs are loops that run over and over again. So basically, I'll pull it up. 
our code is constantly checking to see if any event has occurred. Has my user clicked any buttons in the last, you know, one millisecond? Have they closed the window and all this kind of stuff. So sometimes we have to do some actions that seem a little bit weird to accomplish goals that are much easier in just base Python. But that's it for this tutorial. A big thank you for liking, subscribing, and ringing that bell. Comment below with suggestions for future videos, and I will see you in the next one.